Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Shami Jahan. I'm from Educator Shamin YouTube channel, Instagram, Facebook page and Twitter. So you can follow me there. Alright, so let's get started. So in this video, I'm going to teach you symbiotic relationships. Alright, so let's get started. So symbiosis, what do you mean by symbiosis? So symbiosis is a close and long lasting physical relationship between two different species, that is two different organisms. In other words, if you say any other way, that is the two species are usually in physical contact and at least one of them derives some sort of benefit from this contact. There are three different categories. How many categories here? How many classification here of symbiotic relationship? Number one, parasitism. Number two, that is commensalism and number three that is mutualism all right so let's go diff uh, let's go details so here is a, you can see lots of uh, different type of organism you can see this is a flea that uh, organism that organism leave another organism's body and suck the blood Alright, so this is a uh, tiny sometimes and sometimes it's very, uh, very little. Alright, so let's go. So parasitism. Parasitism, what do you mean by parasitism? So parasitism is a relationship in which one organism known as the parasite, alright, so lives in or on another organism. So here is a, that is the flea, these organisms live, these organisms body and suck the blood and that way that these organisms survive in the world so known as the host and from which it that is that derives nourishment generally the parasite is much smaller than the host this is a generally and although the host is harmed by the interaction and it is generally not killed immediately by the parasite and some host that is individual may live a long time and be relatively little affected by their parasites. Some parasites are much more destructive than others. However, newly established parasite uh, that is the host relationship are likely to be more destructive than those that have a long evolutionary history so with a long-standing interaction between the parasite and the host and two species generally evolve in such a way that they can accommodate one another so it's not in the parasite's host interest to kill it host so if it does it must find another so likewise the host evolves defenses against the parasites and often reduces the harm done by the parasite to a level the host can tolerate all right so let's go next one so parasites that live on the surface of their host are known as ectoparasite ectoparasite you must remember that and that is the fleas so this is a fleas lies very tiny and small uh, some moles and mildews so for example and uh, this is our example of ectoparasite and many other parasites such as tapeworms and malaria parasite many kinds of bacteria and some fungi are called endoparasites so this is endoparasites because it live inside inside the body of their host for example some malaria you know it, it's live also it survive inside the human body this one also bacteria this is also inside our stomach it's help our digestion this is also helpful and that uh, bacteria survive in our body a tapeworm lives in the intestines and of its host where it is able to resist be being digested and makes use of the nutrients in the intestine all right let's go next one so even 
plants can be parasites all right so this is a, it was animal so now we've back again this is um this is a plant so mistletoes this is the you can see here this kind of plants that is a flowering plants that is parasite on trees so it establishes itself on the surface of a tree when a bud transfer the seed to the tree so it then grows down into the water conducting tissues on the tree and uses the water and minerals uh, it obtained uh, from these tissues to support its own growth all right let's go next one some examples of commensella commensal that is the commensal relationship exist some orchid so some orchid use a trees as a surface upon which to grow so tree is not harmed or helped but the orchid orchid needs a surface upon which to establish itself and use benefit so for example this is a tree if here is a any orchid live here so uh, so this is a tree here all right it's a giant tree so is there any any other uh, plant live here so it's not harmed so it's it, this the tree is not harmed or or held but the orchid needs a surface upon which to establish itself and also benefit they can live here they can get sunlight water so and easily get a sunlight this is the important thing that's why he is here this plant is also here so why it can get more sunlight and rain and some mosses ferns and many vines also make use of the surface of trees in this way next one that is mutualism so mutualism is another kind of symbiotic relationship what kind of relationship symbiotic and is actually beneficial to both species involved in many mutualistic relationships the relationship is obligatory the species cannot live without each other in others the species can exist separately but are more successful when they are involved in a mutualistic relationship some species like a acacia so you can see here this is acacia here so or a thorny tree or provide food in the form of sugar solution in little substance on their stems certain species uh, of ant this is one species feed on the solution and live in the tree which they will protect from other animals by attacking an animal that begins to feed on the tree so both organisms benefit right and ants receive food and place to live wow this is amazing right the tree is protected from animals and that would use it as a food so one soil that is the soil nutrient that is usually a limiting factor for plant growth is that is the nitrogen many kinds of plants such as legumes beans clover acacia trees and alder trees so have bacteria that live in their roots in in little nodules roots form these nodules when when they are infected with a certain kind of bacteria the bacteria do not cause disease wow this is also amazing but provide the plants with a nitrogen containing molecules so that the plant can use for growth and nitrogen fixing bacteria benefit from the living site and nutrients that the plants and provide and the plants benefit from the nitrogen they receive
next one that is commensalism so commensalism is a relationship between organisms here is also another organisms in which one organism benefits while the other is not affected so if is so it is possible to visualize a parasitic relationship evolves into a commensal one since parasites generally evolve to do as little harm to their host as possible and the host is combating the negative effects of the parasite they might eventually evolve to the point where the host is not harmed at all all right so next one that is in the ocean many sharks all right so here the sharks have a smaller fish known as a uh, remora so here you can see this is a remora here attacked to them and remoras have a sucker all right so this is amazing on the top of their heads that they can use to attack to the shark in this way they can uh, they can uh, hitchhike a ride as the shark and swims along so when the shark feeds the remora flees itself and obtain small bits of food that the shark misses so then the remora re-attacked the shark does not appear to be positively or negatively affected by remoras wow this is also amazing right guys here is a lot of remoras they are attacking wow so guys i hope that's all for today thank you for watching and see you soon with another new video and keep watching and keep practicing thank you so much